Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today for our live webinar, uh, where our experts will help you to understand Commerce Tool features. My name is Preeti Singh, and I will be your host and moderator for today's webinar. And if you have any question or have trouble in hearing or viewing the webinar at any point in time, please let us know in the question window that you can see on the right hand side of your screen. You can also post all of your questions or any comments in the same at any time during the presentation. We do have a dedicated slot to answer all of your questions towards the end of the presentation. And now I would like to welcome our speaker, Roxen Dai, Head of Partner Sales at Commerce Tools, Bharat Janathan, Practice Head of Commerce Tool at Royal Cyber. Uh, thank you both of you for joining us today. Now let's touch upon the agenda of today's webinar. Bharat, can you help me please? Okay, so today we will be giving introduction on modern commerce tools and trends. What are the features of commerce tool and how it can be known as a future proof solution for e-commerce and the challenges the customer JSW1, which he was facing, and then what was the understanding JSW1 systems architecture and solution of it, and how Royal Cyber implemented the commerce tools? And then we will be, and at the end of the uh, webinar, we will be covering all questions and answers. Now, before that, let me start with a brief introduction on who we are and what do we do. Royal Cyber is an IT consulting and digital transformation company specializes in services, solutions, and software and it has been innovating since 2002 with 1000 plus employees and 600 happy customers worldwide across the globe royal cyber provides reliable and high performing solutions and services in commerce cloud mobile ai middleware integration and commerce tools being headquartered in naperville illinois we have offices located in different parts of the world namely canada mexico australia uk saudi arabia south africa and we do have delivery centers in india and pakistan we have the ability to design strategies to modernize expand and build value to deliver impactful journeys for our clients and execute a 360 degree value across their digital transformation journey as a commerce tool specialized partner we can perform key areas of it services providing your teams the capacity and insight they need to achieve improvements you will discover how royal cyber delivers commerce tool better and help your entire organization to achieve the value at its best now i would like to welcome bharat and would like to pass it on to him bharat over to you thanks thanks Priti. Thanks for the nice intro. Hi guys, uh, have a good day. I hope uh, uh, we will start the session. Uh, so to, before getting into that, uh, no, I just want to set the preview, like uh, what we can uh, no, uh, go through this webinar actually, and what can no, uh, we can uh, take away from this webinar. So first thing is like, uh, uh, we will go and discuss about the no, uh, generic thing like how the more e-commerce uh, trends now in 2022 and future on we'll discuss about the key areas like how the trends looks like and uh, those trends like uh, no, how, what are those features like you know, which we can have leverage with commerce tool that's what the second agenda would be so Roxy will cover the commerce tools like how uh, these features will be leveraged and then we'll get into some you know, uh, 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 live use case, which we are Royal Sub has been you know, a solution and implemented for JSW, so that you will understand the, how the B2B solution has been implemented using a commerce tool. And then uh, lastly, we will give a you know, what Royal Cyber and commerce tool uh, as practice, like we will be you know, uh, having a lot of things, a lot of stuff, other stuff that you guys can leverage with us to build your business. So this is a key agenda for the like as Preeti said. I uh, just want to set the a short preview about that. Now let's get started. So 
as i said like uh, today's uh, no trend looks uh, these areas uh, mainly like you know i have given some key things which uh, you know uh, every e-commerce business should go through maybe if you are not today like we have to start focusing on how we can implement these things in your business so this is the key agenda or like you know key areas that e-commerce uh, or uh, going forward or something to be looks like mandatory stuffs so one is like uh, the first thing is like personalization is uh, something where everyone is looking for right so uh, like all the customers over is like you need to understand more about them and you need to do the uh, you know, stuff like uh, recommendation of the products or like whether those suggestions all those personalization based on the age or like country locations all those things you need to build a business so you need to know that more about customer and do the personalization whenever they get into the site uh, site or like your uh, channel so that uh, you can uh, start uh, no retain those customers so as per the right 60% of customers will be uh, no, re, uh, no, reusing the sites that's what the common uh, no, statistics says so we need to be more focused on like how we can personalize the things based on the customers experience so second item is like you know uh, something which uh, delivered to becoming fast which i uh, call it as like how the delivery mechanism is working today so basically the difference between the when you're going to the shop and getting the product and then buying a product at the uh, you know uh, uh, web it's a like uh, it's a difference it's like you will get a product on time like or on hand now we have to you know, deliver the products it will take one or two days now the the world is getting changed now whenever they order a product they are expecting the speed delivery or something right uh, like uh, the delivery should happen on the day uh, that is a key thing that's going forward uh, everyone has to look into that so that uh, this will help us to know how the uh, shipment or logistics or like what are the areas like uh, we need to improve on the e-commerce side so that uh, your delivery makes a uh, speed and uh, the omni channel is like uh, uh, no, the market is wider now because like earlier there will be a only option like where now last five ten years like everyone started using a mobile and apps and now even going beyond so we are we are going to know uh, have a multiple devices which uh, access to sell your uh, product like you are getting a more customers because there, are, there is an option of going with a, a multiple devices this is another area like uh, you need to ensure that your e-commerce uh, side or something which is available on multiple devices and uh, there's a uh, the other thing is like uh, payment a flexible payment option so obviously right we whenever there is a new payment method or something we are in a market uh, is be like how fast we are uh, going to uh, incorporate those which definitely help the business to you know grow so uh, one of the item is like cryptocurrency which is uh, now popping up in the uh, ground so like uh, we have to see uh, how how can you know cryptocurrency also included in your uh, payment methods and uh, the other part is like subscription based e-commerce yeah this is this one is uh, no, we are a uh, lot of uh, no we are hearing now so when you do a business like uh, no you have to be uh, like uh, uh, maybe you have to plan it like how you can move it to subscription based methodology or a scenario that helps you are no, retain the customers or consumer and they can be very flexible to sell the product and uh, the obviously right the new world is like all depends on the artificial intelligence uh, like based on the day uh, whatever uh, no, like uh, voice search or like voice call and then augment reality which which helps like to sell a lot of uh, products which uh, they can give a lot of new customer experience like uh, again a virtual reality all those are new areas that's uh, slowly uh, booming up so it depends on the year it depends on your uh, use case whether this can be uh, give a new experience uh, obviously like uh, when we are in a covid so that's what right i, I continue with that the customer experience is now uh, no, uh, be a new our it's, it's going to be you know, 
we have to be focused on that uh, like the augment reality which you right especially on this covid kind of scenario where person uh, need a more experience like uh, you know getting into the product to understand more and uh, last is the one which more uh, important like i can say like customer data platform using that uh, you know there there'll be a bits of pieces like lot of uh, data is flowing between the business uh, entire system so we need to uh, you know centralize those data and see like uh, we have to draw the picture like to understand how the customers behaving or how the customers attitude like you know what are the sites that fear the products which they are frequently looking into it those things we can study and then you know, we can build the business using the data so these are the key trends like which helps uh, you know any e-commerce trends if they are going to focus so that it will be gives a, a better business growth and just to this for uh, reference i just uh, give uh, some of the statistics which uh, i have come through uh, like how the e-commerce growth is been seen uh, over the last uh, no two decades like it's it's keep on growing and booming and uh, the interesting fact that i see like uh, we see uh, around uh, we are now at 3.5 trillion uh, uh, in uh, e-commerce uh, now uh, like 2026 it will become all right 6 trillion or something like that uh, it's going uh, very fast and you'll see a lot of growth over this uh, this happens right last uh, couple of years before like because of covid there will be a rapid growth and that's still continuing and you know, yeah, booming the market and getting a uh, lot of uh, retailers on you know enterprise to moving to uh, e-commerce i think you are uh, you get us some uh, you know uh, some of the uh, topics and agenda on the e-commerce trend now uh, we can you know uh, i can forward to rox uh, where she will able to help us to how these uh, uh, you know areas can be uh, e- easily leveraged to commerce tools over to you rox thank you so much and before i get into this i just want to say a special thank you to our friends from Royal Cyber for being such a supported, supportive and dedicated partner. So, I'm here to share with you a little bit about the unique attributes of the Commerce Tools offering and how we can uniquely help you uh, meet and exceed your goals. So, what is it that Commerce Tools enables for for our clients? I would say first and foremost, we are uniquely positioned to support your needs for differentiation so as you know it's no longer enough to offer a superior product or service to your customers customers today are also looking for a unique experience before during and after the sale and it's the nature of commerce tools architecture that we are able to offer the flexibility necessary to enable our customers to exceed these expectations and deliver on these requirements another area where commerce tools is unique and we see clients coming to us because of their needs as it relates to omni channel so anytime you are in a situation and you hear we need to support multi brand multi channel multi region multi language you really should consider commerce tools to support those requirements Another area where we have been able to deliver unprecedented value to our clients is that um under the topic of tech debt. So given the fact that we're cloud native, we automatically provide our clients with the ability to scale up or scale down in order to align those precious tech resources and align those tech expenses with your revenues in order to optimize the business. And overall, our unique approach to commerce enables our clients to grow and scale in the most cost-effective, flexible and agile way possible. And you don't just have to take it from me, you can take it to my my th- take it from my think tank group here's who's here with me today. So, as you if you haven't already, as you continue your education into modern commerce and digital transformation, you'll hear of new approaches and new terms. One of the terms that you might run across is that of mock. So, what is mock and why is it important to you? Um mock stands for a 
architectural approach to commerce. The M stands for microservices, A is for API first, C is for cloud native, and H is for headless. And why are these important? It's because this category, this category of architecture is the approach that by far enables the most flexible, scalable, and agile approach to commerce. Again, which enables you to meet all those needs around differentiation, omni-channel, reduced tech debt, and deliver on all those benefits. So while Commerce Tools invented the term mock, it is important to note that mock, this type of architecture, is a broad category, and there's a whole alliance of vendors that fit into this category that are available to our, our clients to leverage in order to bring the reality of all these capabilities to life. There, there are many things about the nature of our of our offering um, and the fact that we're not, we're, we are mock based, um, which delivers all these different types of value to our customers. And not only are our customers raising their hand and you know saying that there's value here, um, also the industry analysts such as Forrester, Gartner and IDC are also very supportive of the value that our approach brings to market. Um, some of the things that we offer are the fact that our APIs are individually consumable. So we can very much align to your specific needs. We're not gonna force you into some big bulky legacy platform, right? We, we very much lead with, we very much are in a position to support our customers and where they want to drive improvements to the business and align our technology and pieces of solution to those needs. I already mentioned the fact that we're cloud native and the benefits in terms of scaling up and scaling down that that provides. Um, what we, you'll hear often this term called headless. And headless in a nutshell is an approach that enables you to standardize on a single backend with all the benefits around cost, maintenance, and data that having a single backend provides, and yet a decoupled front end, which provides unique support for omni-channel, social, IOTs, and all those other different modes in which you need to take advantage of to engage with your customers. We're microservices based, multi-tenant, API first, and it's all of these value points um, are the reason behind us um, getting all the accolades and the support from the industry analysts like Forrester, as well as all the value that we've been able to deliver to clients around the world, like Lego, Lululemon, um, just to name a few. One of the biggest differentiators for commerce tools is the fact that we are a curated suite of APIs that can be deployed as needed. And what, and where the value is, is that with commerce tools, sure, you can choose to replace your entire platform at once. And we've had many clients that take that approach and they've been very successful and they've been able to drive a lot of value from a complete platform replacement. However, that's not the only way to engage with us and realize value. So perhaps you're just looking to improve your promotions. You know, perhaps you want to upgrade your PIM um, or you want to enhance your checkout process. When we engage with our clients, we allow them to take advantage of all these different individual components in order to improve your solution and fuel your growth from there. So this is just a little bit about uh, commerce tools and the suite and the solution that we provide hand in hand with our friends from Royal Cyber. So thank you for listening to these specific value points. And I'll now turn it back over to our friends from Royal Cyber who are gonna talk about how specifically JSW realized value from their commerce tools deployment. Back to you. Thanks, Rob. That's nice. Let me move towards the slide, yeah. So, Further, right? So now you've got to know like uh, some some of the key uh, features that commerce tool is we already know are coming with out of the box functionality. So 
using that, right, we, we just go and see this use case. We are taking today is JSW1, which is a B2B use case solution that we have uh, solution and implemented uh, from Royal Saber. So let's get uh, into that. So to give a short uh, no, uh, view about this uh, B2B customer, uh, is a, our customer like JSW is a, one of the largest uh, you know, uh, steel makers in India. And also like there are more you know, uh, prominent uh, uh, among a multinational company. And uh, they have uh, you know, a more uh, areas like you know, manufacturers and builders, uh, they be doing a business. And uh, majorly they have a product like what are the related with steels and as well as they are in paints and cements as well. So this uh, this guy, this is uh, their uh, no, uh, main four core areas of no, doing business with B two B enterprise business uh, around the market. So let's take the use case. Uh, what what is the uh, at the high level? What they need? Uh, what they are look? What they are asked us? So basically, right? Uh, they they don't have any uh, e commerce earlier to do the no, uh, online uh, purchasing the product. Uh, they have a standard uh, things like details about the products and the distributor they have to contact and then they have to uh, get the uh, details over uh, uh, to uh, deliver the product. Now uh, they want a solution that handles the online completely online and uh, the any uh, anyone wants to like they have a categorized the uh, uh, four key uh, stakeholders for the maybe uh, uh, no, the independent customers one is like you know they they have a, a, a direct uh, retailers which can get a resellers from the JSW uh, it is a like you know uh, entrepreneurs or somewhere like that and there are influencers which is again a B2B to C uh, which they like you know uh, like architect building constructor or uh, all those guys uh, can use this and the mainly other uh, main areas like uh, MSMEs, like micro and small and medium enterprise uh, users, customers who can uh, no, purchase a product. And last, right, uh, there will be a, a OEM guys where uh, they will be like purely enterprise, uh, uh, you know, uh, customers. So these four people are mainly categorized, and then uh, they want to sell their uh, product. So initially, like uh, as a pilot phase, they want to implement the steel products, and then they will be slowly uh, going with uh, other cements and paints in the multiple releases. And the other uh, use case they want is like this has to be uh, enabled in uh, across all the devices, multiple uh, no, uh, devices like web, mobile, or tab, or any system, uh, and then uh, via a customer uh, call. So this, 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 uh, this, this uh, multiple device should handle the same uh, commerce platform and solution. So, and then uh, the last use case, which is uh, something uh, mostly uh, no, uh, customizable for the, particularly for JSW, since this is a large and complex uh, program, and uh, there will be a lot of products which involved, uh, which as a, you know, uh, we need to do a product modeling and pricing rules should be applied. And then uh, we have to, uh, the, the customer is looking for like some credit and financial services. Uh, it's it's a like, uh, you know, you will, uh, customers can get some, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of like uh, pay later or something, right? They will be tied up with a bank, bank and then the bank will arrange the financial help for the customers individual like uh, this kind of uh, no, financial service will be uh, they're looking forward and then uh, customer and account managers obviously there will be a lot of uh, systems that be integrated and then they have to uh, maintain the customer's profile and then what are the account for any you know, food or any uh, price or something related with the particular group and then obviously there will be order workflow. Uh, it's a specific customization that uh, you know, uh, they want to follow, and then other integrations part. So altogether, right? This this looks like a very uh, you know, com complex solution which we need to build, and then uh, we need to come up and you know, use across a lot of features that uh, they want. To give an oversight on, uh, you know, uh, they are looking. Uh, this is the overall. Uh, landscape for their digital ecosystem 
Well, uh, I, I, I explained right. There are uh, four uh, categories: stakeholders, and then across a uh, uh, lot of uh, areas, they are going to uh, digitalize. So one is key area is here is like uh, going with the uh, online shop, shopping and marketplace. It's the e-commerce uh, system that they are looking forward. So let's see like uh, how this uh, these uh, features and then with keeping in the mind and then uh, what are the uh, so approach that we uh, we come up with and then we have done the solutioning part so basically uh, this uh, this uh, understanding the use case uh, we we have decided that uh, considering these uh, uh, things uh, like uh, the multiple uh, uh, stakeholders the customers which they are using the product they want to uh, build a single solution and then uh, this this obviously has go as uh, some different uh, customization is required for their rules and uh, other uh, stops so the microservices platform which we look into the market today is like commerce tools and which as again right it has a uh, uh, help us to integrate with other lot of third party systems and also like it helps us to give uh, multiple you know, uh, omni channels and uh, it's, it's obviously it's an atlas so as you understand earlier slides like we are saying about all these things which uh, exactly fit in this uh, you know, use case where we can easily implement uh, and come up with the solution so basically uh, the, this is the uh, you know, high level flow uh, maybe uh, for the customer's journey or you can take it in that way so basically the anyone wants to log into the jsw1 they just want to register as a like, let's say like a msme user like any enterprise user b2b like let's say connecting to the system and then they're providing a login information and then they're registering it and then they can select the preferred distributor whatever the products they are Collecting and they will pay the uh, pay for that and then they will get into the deliveries so this is the overview about uh, you know, uh, the the flow and this is uh, you know, uh, how we can go forward and look uh, like how commerce tool uh, has been put inside this uh, solution and then the entire architecture so basically see the right hand side this is the system architecture that to understand we are given so if you see the top uh, we have a customer and uh, which they are accessing a storefront where we have developed the storefront uh, for uh, uh, with a uh, uh, using JS, and then uh, it would be useful uh, to you know, uh, access via multiple devices either it's a mobile or it's an you know, uh, either it's a web or it be like uh, anyone through a system they can easily access with the same uh, you know, it will give a proper ui and ux uh, experience and then uh, there will be a uh, you know, uh, different instances which has been separated and then uh, it has a connector since it's an atlas right everything is works independently uh, we have integrated all together to communicate the data between uh, one system to another using an api calls so we build an api gateway in between where uh, we have a contentful as a cms system which has been uh, given uh, to integrate or you know, show all the whatever the you know, content that has to be displayed in the front end and uh, the mostly like uh, commerce tool has been uh, uh, whatever you see in uh, below right so the features that has been uh, uh, called through an api uh, using uh, the microservices which has been uh, built and customized based on the requirements so each uh, features has been used and then uh, the system will get integrated with other uh, erp or like you know sap and then uh, salesforce and i sales like uh, to to make the sync data sync between the systems so if you see here uh, the, there'll be a, a third party services which also been integrated like a payment uh, system which is on a third party and uh, there'll be a, a security layer that has been built to pass any uh, like OTP or validating with uh, you know, uh, some tax or like you know, a registration ID for any enterprise. 
so this uh, third party integration is something where we see customized uh, for uh, the jsw uh, since it's been like india they have some gst numbers to just uh, no to start any business they will be getting an id where uh, they have to log in with that gst to validate that we need to hit some uh, no portal to validate uh, so all this everything is working with rstf calls and graphql uh, so that uh, we, we don't need to like it's it's all decoupled uh, we are not uh, no And also, like all these things, has been uh, no hosted in uh, GCP. Uh, whatever the customers uh, session uh, we have implemented, uh, it's in non cloud. And uh, the, it that's a multiple releases. Like it, uh, it that's a good feature in a commerce tool. Like uh, you can go with a face by face manner uh, to develop and implement any uh, uh, services that you want. Uh, that is what like it will give you uh, in a two weeks of time you will get some no, solution pre implemented in the system. So we we have uh, the other part is like uh, we have uh, used a product search uh, which helps uh, no users to give a, a quick search and also like uh, no. There will be a lot of jobs that being built, uh, customer especially for any uh, uh, transaction that uh, needs to be sent to uh, Salesforce or SAP, uh, and then uh, to validate the customer group. Uh, there are other lot of uh, that uh, since this uh, uh, microservices helps to do a lot of business rule supply uh, and uh, to validate any data which is coming between the system. So these are the key uh, no, uh, feature which I explained uh, earlier has been called out over uh, here. So majorly, like uh, we 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 have done, uh, we are categorized as a uh, customization and extension and then integration. So we have done uh, some no uh, product uh, modeling which is like uh, uh, based on the customer use case. Uh, it's, it's, it's purely on right if you if you go with any modeling like product you want to set up the product uh, uh, variants or product keys so based on uh, like understanding the product details and then you have to set up those and configure in a commerce tool and top of that you will be uh, loading the uh, the all the SKUs which is you know required to show it in your the storefront and that's a key step that we have to do, you know, take care of initially so whenever you get a new product or something, you have to set up those things, and then you to get keep loading the data new products whenever it's needed. And then, uh, uh, yeah, obviously we develop this uh, no, PD, PDP and PLP functionality, and what should be shown, what should not be, and uh, no, give a, keep the customer like keep providing a lot of details. And card development is part of uh, commerce tool functionality, which we just integrated. And uh, payment integration has been done with uh, Razor Pay. Mostly in India, like uh, we have uh, kind of Razor Pay uh, method, which helps to pay via net banking or credit card, debit card. It enables everything. So uh, that has been integrated with commerce tool. And then uh, order management. Yeah, we have developed that, which is uh, part of uh, commerce tool, and then we uh, customize with the status and other thing. And uh, there will be uh, 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 key integration that uh, which I already explained is something which is uh, other other third party integration which we had implemented uh, using uh, uh, like uh, validating the tax ID and. Uh, there be a tail one which uh, now used for providing a discount and a promotion uh, related stuff where we are integrated with that and it takes care of uh, no, based on the customer location and then uh, the customers uh, no frequent uh, buying the product it will uh, provide the uh, discounts and promotion based on that and uh, these are the, the uh, key key integration that has been implemented uh, for this p2p 
customer so uh, i think uh, there are a lot of a lot of other things or beyond the scene like uh, i feel like uh, i just giving throwing something which uh, we can see and think whether this can be easily uh, so 90% of any b2b uh, customers will be coming up for you know, uh, using a commerce tool obviously uh, everything will be handled uh, as uh, we have shown in this use case will be implemented uh, uh, very easily and the other uh, you know, uh, which uh, you know, uh, use case that uh, customer is expected it's like uh, the, the solution should be scalable and then uh, it should be get you know, uh, flexible to uh, include uh, in you know, in future they want to enhance or upgrade to other other areas they want to be easily capable of doing that so that is a uh, one of the key uh, you know, uh, parameter that we can uh, leverage its commerce tool so you want to build an extra stores or extra location that you want to go with this you know enhance your business so you can get easily uh, you know, implemented in commerce tool just adding the configuration to and then a product is based on the you know, location that you are created so it's very easy and you know, getting into so once you implemented one uh, solution for that on top of that uh, based on the configuration same solution will work for uh, different products and different stores and then even uh, you can have a you know, uh, set up on rules apply uh, based on your uh, products or based on your uh, store and uh, even in this case uh, there are a lot of distributors for the sa the same product so here the customer can select the distributor and each distributor distributor will get a different prices and you know, based on their uh, they can set that uh, you can see like related with marketplace where uh, different seller can have a different uh, price popping uh, up for the same product so it's up to the uh, customers can select the seller and then they can go with the uh, purchasing the product so these kind of uh, configurations and you know, uh, features that's been already available in commerce tool and it's easy to you know, uh, integrate and then uh, implement the solution. There are other things like uh, technology which we have used uh, for uh, build this uh, solution. Uh, it's completely uh, no, spring boot uh, microservices that uh, not been as built. And uh, yeah, I sure right. Contentful is a CMS which we integrated with uh, Commerce Tool and Front End, uh, and then uh, uh, OMS as well as uh, JWT authentication is kind of uh, uh, security layer authentication where you will be getting uh, like OTP or like SMS so that uh, you will get like this kind of uh, authentication can be uh, easily. Uh, no, uh, it's it's all uh, readily available utility with uh, royal cyber that we can uh, make use of like putting into the system to make more secure i think uh, you get now some idea about uh, what uh, you know, uh, we have implemented for uh, b2b solution that's a use case for jsw and going beyond uh, this this uh, no, uh, slides helps you to understand as a royal cyber uh, we are a premium solution partner with the commerce tool uh, we we are providing a lot of uh, no, support over uh, like any commerce tool development uh, like uh, you want to imp uh, no, from the scratch you, you want to build some solution for your e-commerce we we can able to do that and uh, we, we want to like you have a existing e-commerce uh, with other any other uh, e-commerce platform which you want to migrate to commerce tool we we are uh, no, we can able to do that and we are supporting that and uh, any implementation with commerce tool is being no, we are doing the support and uh, any integration or like you know you want to grow and enhance that you know changing the third party services with other thing so obviously uh, no, uh, royal cyber will help you to do that and uh, there will be a consulting work that also be done and like uh, to make sure like initial case like understand your use case understand your uh, no, uh, business requirement and how how we can implement uh, like how we can enhance the business to taking the right decision to implement uh, uh, some uh, future proof solution 
this works for uh, like you know uh, b2b or b2c or d2c any any kind of right we have a more exposures uh, and the certified uh, uh, developers and architect in the team and also like uh, we have uh, 24 by 7 across uh, now since we are delivering from onshore and offshore we have uh, around the clock support this slide uh, will give you an idea like uh, some of the key accelerator it's kind of utility a solution that already uh, royal server is uh, no already built and readily available which uh, helps right any uh, any of uh, your business to go no need to build from the scratch it'd be like it's kind of plug and play method uh, if your use case uh, no uh, required this kind of uh, the, any solution then we can go and uh, implement this uh, for you so I just give a, you know, a high level view of what are those uh, on this. I just given a key uh, items over here. Um, uh, beyond that, we have multiple other uh, utilities out there. So I'll go with that. I already explained about JWT and OTP sign-in feature like uh, we that has been implemented in JSW as well. And uh, like other th other areas, like uh, to give a customer experience, uh, we have a product 360 view and augment reality, uh, which right, all these things related with uh, to enhance your uh, no, customer's experience whenever they access some product. So if your use case required that uh, no, the products to be looked into 360 view or 3D view, something that we can able to implement uh, that has been uh, no. Uh, uh, easily available with our uh, accelerator library and then augment reality to view a product view and uh, that is also be uh, easily uh, implementable the other thing is now like artificial uh, intelligence and machine learning there will be a product search and recommendation and as well as a comparison which it's the your use case or your businesses needs to utilize this and we can able to uh, implement that solution as well. Uh, your own commerce is uh, IOC, which uh, Royal Cyber has built a, a completely new solution uh, nowhere we have seen uh, no, in the market, which uh, no, by enabling you uh, as a customer, like you can uh, you can get the IOC implemented in this. This is kind of a middleware. Uh, solution where uh, you can uh, you can it's all like switch your e-commerce platform between one platform to another platform and uh, it is a kind of like uh, giving a flexibility uh, whenever you want to move the uh, platform let's say like uh, you want to move from uh, uh, like SEL commerce to commerce tool then it be uh, uh, you can uh, we can do it using your, your own commerce and uh, it's a like uh, not only it's like we have set off uh, no other e-commerce platform has been built as a pre-defined way like uh, that can be easily implemented and uh, see all these things will help you to reduce the uh, build time and moving the, you know, the you know, fast implementation uh, it's such a kind of speed to market and uh, the last is data migration framework which uh, we have built a data migration framework to no, uh, uh, come up with to understand and uh, no, some some to avoid some manual and uh, human errors. So that this solution shall help you, help you to make sure like uh, uh, data between your source uh, existing uh, legacy system and moving to the target system without any as like uh, it will it will it will it will take all the product orders or like you know any customer related stuff from your legacy and it will get migrated to your commerce tool system so this i think uh, for any use cases that can write for b2c or b2b altogether this might be the top or uh, you know most of the key items that that can be easily uh, utilized and then uh, implemented into uh, any any uh, business e-commerce uh, site So next we have is like uh, we have it's, it's a kind of you know, uh, coming up with uh, to in, uh, engage uh, our uh, things uh, we are providing some you know, one week discovery session 
might be have seen in the email for the webinar stuff like uh, we can do uh, and understand that and we can come up with some POC here and we can uh, discuss with you uh, if you have an idea or like you are willing to uh, do something uh, to uh, work with commerce tool migration and you want to implement some uh, solutions uh, with commerce tool so we can uh, no, work so the completely one week session discovery session is absolutely a compliment uh, and then uh, we can uh, no, uh, further take it up the development interface and then implementation phase if you guys are okay with that this applies for any uh, no, any uh, business like b2c or b2b so along with that uh, there is a uh, we categorize a two package snapshot package uh, which uh, which we have list out a lot of parameters uh, those features which uh, applicable in package one and package two basically package one will be you know, can be implemented in four weeks of time and package d uh, package two will comes with eight weeks of time lag so uh, we have given some you know, something included something not included in both these things so which means that uh, you know, uh, if you want to uh, you need to understand like in four weeks of time what are the features that we implemented in the next four weeks like uh, you can see like uh, you can get other features which is be uh, available for uh, any any e-commerce solution so i think uh, that's a uh, no, quick overview about the royal cyber how we are you know, working on commerce tool related uh, projects and stuff and uh, we have seen the use cases uh, which uh, helps you to understand an any b2b solution be implemented using a commerce tool yeah i think uh, see uh, if if there is any any uh, no further discussions or like anything you want to know just keep uh, updated uh, like uh, in this email so that we will be touch base with you and uh, have a further discussion to uh, no, understand the use case and then go with that any question and answers we can go through pretty yes sir thank you so much for the wonderful session um we have a couple of questions uh let me read it for you okay the first no. question we have is um, how the price customization features work price customization sorry come again how the price customization features work okay see uh, i think uh, the 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 this is a pricing is uh, already a commercial out of box function which uh, i think uh, morely uh, the the price feature is related whether you want to uh, not uh, segregate the price between the uh, based on your distributor or like based on the seller that even possible and then uh, the price that you want to uh, distinguish between the stores it's like uh, you want to uh, run as uh, multiple stores and uh, you want to uh, distinguish the price between the one store and another because of location and then uh, location as well like it depends on like different uh, uh, way you can implement uh, how you are just con it just all these things are configurable in the commerce tool you just to just set up that uh, set up in, uh, the price uh, you know, configuration based on the uh, distributor or based on the even a customer group uh, for example uh, if you are you are you are configured like a vip customer then you, your price will get be different when you are configured as a standard customer then your price will uh, the product price will get uh, differentiate those kind of configuration uh, we can implement in commerce tool i think these features are there uh, with the commerce tool okay uh, moving to the next question, um, which front end is more compatible with commerce tools? Okay, so yeah, so this I think uh, sometimes back quite I think a commerce tool has uh, acquired a fantastic uh, uh, no, a front end, which is now uh, no with commerce tool and uh, it will be easily available and both are 
um, blending well and uh, we can easily implement that is also like headless and uh, there will be a lot of apis and build apis that we come up with out of this functionality and then uh, it acts as like uh, a cms as well so you can uh, get implemented fantastic using uh, you know, uh, when you go for commercial you can get easily that yeah, and this is Roxanne, if I can add to that. Commerce Tools as a solution, as, as a software company, um, you, you know, we absolutely are in a position to leave the front end choice up to the client based on their unique requirements. So yes, it is true. We did acquire a company by the name of Fantastic, uh, Frontastic, <laughs> they are fantastic, sorry. No, we did acquire a company by the name of Frontastic late last year, and, and we've brought uh, those capabilities into our broader solution portfolio, and we've rebranded that offering Commerce Tools front end. And yes, that's available to our clients if that best meets their needs, but we also have an extensive um, ISV partner network with uh, other front end offerings like v View Storefront, we also have um, uh, clients who choose to, you know, custom develop, uh, custom front end, and we are uh, currently supporting all those different offer offerings and options, and plan to do so in the future. Yeah, yeah since it's an headless, right? It's up to uh, business or like customers to decide which one is go. Everything works and uh, most preferably commercially even have that uh, fantastic uh, no, as a front end nowadays thanks rox thank you roxin um there is one more question i think you will be able to answer that um, better is the cryptocurrency payment visible in commerce tools i'm sorry could you repeat the question please yes uh, is the cryptocurrency payment visible in commerce tools? Yeah. Cryptocurrency. Yeah. We have a, uh, yeah, that can be possible. Uh, even uh, Royal Saber, we have uh, one accelerator that we have integrated already, one of the cryptocurrency, uh, Cyber uh, CoinGate and that helps us to know uh, implement any you know, cryptocurrency gateway that uh, any customers want to uh, utilize it and there will be like uh, if there is any third party uh, cryptocurrency like they have an uh, api method and they enable that we can easily you know integrate those things with commerce tool and uh, can implement okay thank you and there is one more question just came in i noticed that you have implemented uh, attribution modeling for a com customer to choose their local distributor how complex was that to up set up so if if when if i understand correctly right so the distributor when uh, there is up to same product which is going configuring with multiple distributor so it's be like uh, see those those are like you know uh, purely uh, customization and like when you are doing a product setup and when you are creating a you know, stores, uh, you can uh, uh, all those things are be just configurable during a product modeling. Usually, a uh, project setup initial uh, like once uh, understanding the requirement, use case well, and how the products uh, you know, uh, details and you know, and uh, getting into. Uh, number of distributors and uh, locations and how the logic is to be implemented we can uh, get yeah, it's uh, like uh, not too complex because we are uh, since it's a commerce tool it's coming up with the uh, out of box functionality we can just go and do some minimal customization and then uh, we can implement it all right yeah that's it don't have any other question i can see that yeah okay yeah, so yeah, I, I think we're good. Okay, so Thank you. I think uh, we yeah. had a Yeah, go ahead. We see your uh, thanks for the time. And uh, is there any anything is required, you can reach out to this email info trialsaper.com. We will uh, uh, no, touch base with you or reply back at the earliest.
yeah thank you bharat thanks everybody and uh, in case you have any questions or any comments please write to us on info at royalcyber.com we will be happy to help you further thanks a lot everybody have a good day bye bye